everyone triple in here and today i've got out my capacitor charger because i've been having one of those very rare creative spark days so i very recently discovered this the tl431 programmable shunt regulator i never before realized that this tiny to92 package could make my life so easy so what this tl431 shunt regulator is is basically this in a small package a comparator an open collector output and a reference all in one so you can use it like a programmable zener diode of sorts when the voltage on the reference pin goes above 2.5 volts the cathode anode path becomes conductive through this transistor and pulls down whatever you've connected it to ground so i realized that if i happen to use this thing in my capacitor charger i'll be simplifying this into this so i had an 11358 comparator and a transistor an npn transistor so i can omit those two parts and just have a single to92 package over here and a variable resistor so these dip eights around 4 by 4 holes that 16 holes and three holes over here and whereas this thing takes up only four holes on the board so i'll be removing this and this i'll have this whole space free so i can finally add my gate driver over here instead of this op amp and the closer the gate driver is to the transistor the better and i've also decided to redo this circuit because of this also known as terrible soldering and terrible soldering is in good when you are making power circuits so if i'm capable of soldering boards that look like this i'll be telling you about this in another video why can't i redo this and make it look much better and simplify its operation most of the original features will be retained but i'm definitely going to redo this with the shunt regulator i have decided not to go very hasty with this thing i have decided to do it slowly so that gives me more time to make revisions and i have also laid out the circuit this is 9 by 19 something perf board holes so this is how my final circuit will look after i have finished soldering it this is going to be this and one of the main features of this new design is that it has a continuous ground without any jumper wires etc and a continuous 12 volt rail unlike this circuit where i had 12 volts in ground all over the place connected through those red jumpers to carry high current which isn't a very good idea so that will be adding a lot to this circuit and improve it i also set up a small demo for this programmable shunt regulator here so i power it up 5 volts from my power supply which i fixed but somehow this constant current led wants to stay on for some reason so anyways my multimeter is hooked up to the reference pin which is the furthest pin and ground so i got my multimeter leads ground and reference i hope i've got the connections right yes apparently i have so as i begin to turn this multi turn potentiometer the voltage on the reference pin goes up oops it's the other way and the blue led should turn on you can see the blue led is already beginning to turn on i have no idea how to explain this non ideal behavior the voltage is still at 1.11 so i keep going the led is turning on more fully now i have no idea why but the moment you cross 2.48 the thing turns on completely so that's 
pretty much it so I have to implement these modifications which I won't be doing anytime soon after I'm done testing my flyback converter now this camera won't f yeah after I'm done testing my flyback converter and building the transformer up proper I still got so much work to be done so that's basically it for this video